you know, there was that footnote in the court's opinion, footnote four, where it says that this opinion does not touch the service academies, you know, the Naval Academy, West Point, Air Force Academy, we, you know, whatever we're doing here doesn't touch the service academies. Well, the Supreme Court of the United States is saying that what Harvard was doing and what the University of North Carolina was doing was a type of unconstitutional discrimination. Justice Thomas was saying that what these universities were doing was tantamount, was morally, legally the same as segregation. Are we to take that seriously in light of them saying, but what we're talking about doesn't have anything to do with the service academies? Does, I mean, does that, does that concern? Let, let me respond to that. Yeah. This, here's how I read it. Uh, first, I read Justice Roberts say, uh, the uh, practices at issue here do not pass strict scrutiny because they're making claims about the benefits which are not verifiable and subjective to uh, judicial review. Very abstract. We say we're going to get more pedagogical benefits out of diversity. Well, where's the evidence that there's more pedagogical benefits? We say society will be better off if elite institutions are diverse in their racial composition. Where's the argument for that? That's very abstract. That's three moves down the line. I don't see how I would, as a court, ever verify whether that was true or false. With respect to the military, there's an argument. You can reject it, but there's an argument. The argument is the functioning of the institution depends upon uh, good relations across the lines of hierarchy and authority within the military. It's the military, after all. Mm -hmm. We have historical experience, you know, officers' tents getting fragged during Vietnam and that kind of thing, with what can happen when we have all white commanders and we have all black and brown uh, infantrymen. We want to avoid that. We think we found a way of doing that. I took that footnote to mean that that practice, unlike the diversity claims of the University of North Carolina and Harvard University, is subject to judicial review, is a measurable and empirically verifiable claim, and it's a claim that we stand behind. That's what I took them to be saying. The distinction between the military academy rationalization for affirmative action and the university's rationalization for affirmative action standing on very different empirical grounds. Well, I saw it as a dodge. We'll soon see. I understand from some of the papers that somebody is now suing West Point. It'll be interesting to see what the court says. 